Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at uh, The Mighty Thor, number 337. This is rather the True Believers reprint of it, which is fine because it's printed on great paper, and it looks like this is like recolored. I think it might be have been recolored for the Thor omnibus, but this is the introduction to uh, Beta Ray Bill during uh, Walt Simonson's legendary run on Thor. Full disclosure, it's like I've always loved and appreciated Walt Simonson, but I haven't specifically followed him, and my brother read Thor, so I kind of was aware of him vicariously through that, but I have gained definitely a greater appreciation for his art the older I get, and um, he is definitely one of the true masters. It's so funny because this is like such a, a an infinite, you know, space here, but this uh, shield helicarrier, I'm assuming that's what it is, looks so much larger than life. And I love the epic scope that a true superhero comic book artist like Walt Simonson can bring you. Can I say that? I This is uh, lettered by John Workman, and I know that's silly to say, but I love his lettering. He's like one of my favorite letterers. <clears throat> and that's such a great shot of Thor. It's funny. Um, because that's like s such a money shot, you know, like uh, in comic book, oh, comic books from like the 80s, they were more interested in telling stories than doing pinups. So it was always exciting when you got like a big shot of Thor leaping off the page like that and, you know, building up to the action as opposed to uh, when comics sort of uh, went into the 90s and the image pinup era of just like every page they're leaping off the page nothing special because every page is a pinup and blah 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 so i don't know you know that's sort of like where you muddle the art of the the art form or the form the comic book storytelling he looks so creepy like not as thor but uh i love this design you can tell that uh kirby is an influence here i would say anyway i mean i don't think it's any big secret that artists like uh walt simonson and people of his generation were heavily influenced by jack kirby but he seems so unique unto um his own style like i don't know you get a little bit of like howard shaken vibes maybe but um He's definitely his own artist. Such a great splash page. He just really does like really dynamic. Like the the characters just move on the page for me. So it was art and story by Walter Simonson. He obviously inked this himself, which is cool because I always love when artists ink their own work. With lettering by John Workman, colors by George Russos, and that was the introduction of Beta Ray Bill to be continued in Thor by Walter Simonson, Volume 1. So that's just a big advertisement for the omnibus and the hardcover. But hey, that's not a bad thing, right? So um, I think this version of Thor is super cool. I definitely think that he's the Thor for history. Anyway, hit subscribe and like, and thank you for watching, and I will bring you some more content later. All right, thanks, guys.